Hello, Vinyl Community. Wednesday night. And uh, tonight we're going to talk about a few things. My name is Art, and um, I'm your host here for the Vinyl Community for the North Carolina Picker. What you're listening to in the background is a band called Babylon, and we're going to talk about them later. They're from Florida. Um, antique finds. Um, I found a few, a few today from the Antique Mall, and uh, they were some good records. Uh, problem is with antique malls, you pay more, and thrift stores, you pay less, but find less. So it's a give and take. Um, we're also going to go ahead and uh, talk about 70s bands um, and a few other things. Uh, we're going to get down to our uh, bands that uh, are unknown to most people, and you're listening to one of them now. Um, and also, uh, what we're going to do, talk about what we're going to do tomorrow night. So let's get into it. So today, the thrift store, uh, we had a nice time and uh, a little bit of a drive, but I uh, did find a few gems. Everybody recognizes the uh, band Genesis. In the beginning, or from Genesis to Revelation. Genesis' first album. Very good record. One of my favorites. One of my top five Genesis albums. Trespass being my best. Made my favorite. And I love The Lamb. I love Foxtrot. And I love Nursery Crime. And Selling England. And I love all those. But there's something about this album. The innocence of them. And Peter's voice. And then of course Trespass. With uh, Anthony Phillips. So if you get a chance to get this one. the Genesis to Revelation is going to be a black cover. Just with Genesis written across it. But this is an import. Found that today for a good price. Couldn't pass that up. I didn't have it. I used to have it back in the day. Duncan Brown. Anybody know who Duncan Brown is? Well, I'll tell you who Duncan Brown is. Um, he has he made a couple of records. He has since passed. And um, there's some members on here from Brand S. You have Simon Phillips on drums. John Giblin. Tony Hymas, and then, of course, Duncan. And um, he made the album called The Wild Places. And this was his other album. And this one here, it's not easy to find, but it's a promo. And I found it today for $5. It was on my want list. Another uh, very good artist. And people in the VC have been playing this one and talking about this one. Elliot was talking about it. Some others were talking about Bobby Gentry. So I saw this today for five bucks and I said, you know, it's got the shrink on there and it's old and it, it looks really nice. It looks real nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and get it and give it a listen. I, mean, I, do, I do know the one song. Seen this today, Gary Wright. Never seen this album before. I have a couple, it's called The Right Place. And uh, this was $3.99. So I, I'll give it a shot and give it a listen. Must be a later, one of his later albums. Got a picture of Gary on there. Found that one. And this one here was in my wheelhouse. I've been wanting to get this one. I have all of Renaissance's albums. This one here actually has Prologue and Ashes Are Burning. And Ashes is probably my favorite album by the Renaissance. And uh, I didn't have... I didn't have this one. It's called In the Beginning. It's just the best of it. It's the, uh, it's the first two albums is what it is. And it was on Capitol. And it's, it doesn't come around very often. I don't see it very often. And I wanted a copy um, from my collection. I didn't have one. So that's what I picked up today. And then on to the 70s bands. Um, back when I was in high school, I listened to uh, David Bowie. Space Oddity. Like a lot of the kids did back then. They listened to Bowie, Ziggy Stardust, um, Man Who Sold the World, Space Oddity. Those were all his big albums from the early 70s. And all the kids were listening to him. All the cool kids, anyway. <laughs> what else we got? Oh, we got Alice, of course. We got Double. We got Double Alice. We got Double Alice. School's out. Um, I can remember being on the boardwalk in New Jersey with my brother. 
and playing the game with the wheel and then uh, winning the album. This is not that album, but, and this also came with the pink panties and it's a classic album. I'm sure everybody here has seen it or heard it. And then Killer was my favorite. And then the band I was in in New Jersey growing up, we had a garage band and we did Under My Wheels. And this was probably my favorite Alice Cooper album and it still is today. It came with a poster of my original album, but this one doesn't doesn't have the uh, poster, which is a calendar with Alice hanging by a noose. So, and then of course with T-Rex, Electric Warrior, we were all listening to this and bang a gong, get it on. And we didn't, I, did, I don't remember ever seeing or hearing any other of their albums, but they did have several others. This is a Back to Black, um, 180 gram. I picked this one up. My, my, my uh, copy from years ago was, I burned that one up. And then um, Deep Purple, Machine Head. We did Smoke on the Water in our, in our, uh, band, on our band. And also, uh, this was a, another album that was being played all the time, along with Zeppelin and Queen and Aerosmith and all the great bands, The Who, and all the great bands from the 70s. This was the first album I ever bought. I can remember going and buying this one. Keith Emerson and the Knights. Uh, this is uh, before Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. ELP was probably my favorite band in high school. Yeah, Keith Emerson and the Knights. It's a double album. It's all their best stuff. And then this one here, everybody was listening to Grand Funk before they became Grand Funk or be known as Grand Funk Railroad. They were Grand Funk. And this is Alive. And this one here just kicks. That's three people who make a heck of a lot of noise. And uh, these guys are just awesome. But if you ever get a chance to listen to some early Grand Funk, um, I see probably most of you have. This got uh, Mean Mistreater. I remember falling asleep one night in my bed with uh, probably some subsidence and also with uh, headphones on. <laughs> Out I went. Boom. So that's all of those. And... Um, so I'm going to also thank everybody for the 20 subs and um, bands uh, that you guys probably haven't never heard of. Uh, there's a couple I'm going to go ahead and show you tonight. And uh, one of them is the one you're listening to right now. It's called uh, Babylon. And these guys are from Florida. So you can find this one. I found a copy of this in Florida just before I moved up here up to New, uh, North Carolina. It's it's available, but this one's sealed when I got it. I just opened it tonight to play it. But uh, very progish, early 70s. From, like I said, that band was from Florida. And these two here. This is a band from, it's called Anglegard. If you like um, Keith, uh, if you like um, King Crimson, and some of those type bands, you would love um, Anglegard. Very progish. You can find these uh, CDs probably on Discogs or eBay. They're a little pricey, but you can, they can get re-releases, I think, have been. There's also a live album. I don't have the live one. I think I have it on a, uh, a tape somewhere on a CD. But, uh, yeah, so it was a good day. And, uh, like I say, I went to the... Um, antique store but there wasn't a heck of a lot there and what was there it was kind of picked over and most of the prices were 10 15 20 dollars for records and um, so I did pick up a few and um, I'm gonna be going to a small store tomorrow um, see what I can find and I'll get back to you tomorrow night on that I appreciate the uh, support and I appreciate um, uh, subs I went over 20 subs so that's pretty exciting. And um, tomorrow night I'm going to show you a, a, a mega find that I got, I bought from a record and CD collector in, uh, I believe he was from Cocoa Beach, Florida. Uh, this would have been probably mid, mid 90s that I got these two items from him. And I'm going to show you his uh, card and I'm going to show you the, uh, the two items. I'm going to show you those tomorrow night. You're going to really be surprised. And I think excited about that. And um, I want to go ahead and uh, 
sign off. This is a kind of a short one tonight. So you all have a really good evening. And um, hope you like what you're listening to. If you can hear it, uh, I could say their self-titled album. And their the band is called Babylon. So have a good night. And uh, we'll be talking to you tomorrow. Bye for now.